One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. Yo, what's up guys? And today we have another Dr. Phil video. This one is from almost three years ago, but I couldn't find a good one that has been uh, released recently. There are some coming out in the future, but this one is one of those that everybody knows about and everybody's seen. It's the girl that was pregnant with baby Jesus. Let's see that she was pregnant with baby Jesus and I will prove it. There is no what if, I am pregnant. All right, if she says she's pregnant with baby Jesus, why would you doubt her? Believe woman, I'm tired of playing these games, all right? I'm pregnant and it's Jesus, all right? I am now this. <laughs> it's just awesome that I know that she's not pregnant. And look at that fat belly. <laughs> She's not Jesus Christ, that's a big ass belly. From giving birth and they're like, you're not pregnant. <laughs> she, she's caressing her, her 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 belly like I love I love you Jesus. <laughs> that's not Jesus. I mean if you call your fat Jesus, so he, he's, he's gonna eat Jesus. So uh, yeah, that's that's your baby Jesus. You're uh, too tiny, you're probably just getting fat. You are just getting fat. Stop eating those candy bars that I eat under my bed, please, and under my pillow as well, because I like to eat chocolates. That's why you're fat. One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. <laughs> my temptations is to whack you. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. I know it's Jesus. I know you're crazy. Yeah, and I know she's fat. She looks like one of those crazy Christians and she talks exactly like one. There's no denying that. You're fat? No, that means that you just want to shit really badly. Six urine tests and they all came back negative. So you're not pregnant? Test because I have a rare blood type. I have negative o blood type so I can donate to everybody. So who wants my blood, I will donate to you. When I give birth to my baby, no one is going to deny him because he is my savior. My fat will come and save me, alright? So you just wait for the next episode until my baby comes out and it's going to be called Mr. Wink. I just love the shots where she's holding her belly, it's just amazing. Haley, do you feel tension in your family right now? Definitely. Why would that be? <laughs> You're not really pregnant, are you? And it's baby. You claim it's baby Jesus, but it's not Jesus. Our mother <laughs> looks so disappointed. Her, just like, oh Christ, please, just shut up. Just wake up to life. Just do some diet, man. You'll see. You're not really pregnant with baby Jesus. That's just your fat. Um. Well. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm talk. You're more important than me. Yeah. You. But my mom had jumped in the middle while she was recording me going nuts and she got recording me me going nuts while i punched her in the face and i broke the wall but i was just really mad i was not nuts because you were acting crazy no, acting you, like were you were trying to me. swing at me as soon as you walked out of the door That's so not i have true. a red mark that one of the guys has it all on video on my chest you can see who's the good sister uh, who's the good daughter and who's the <laughs> savage and crazy daughter after she revealed to the world she's pregnant with baby Jesus, she's gonna do an ultrasound and what that ultrasound reveals? Just a little bit. This is my first ultrasound. I was gonna tuck this in. Welcome Dr. Short. I guess there's a certain irony here that your name is Dr. Stork. Oh, Dr. Stork. I could feel him kick and stuff, but... <laughs> I could feel him kicking. Right. Woo! Yes! And, um, your poop Dr. kicks Stork, now. This morning was when the ultrasound was performed on Haley, and we do have some footage of it. Okay. It looks like he's gonna cry. We have some footage of it, and oh my god, this girl is crazy. Uh, you can either approach... You see, you can see Jesus in there. Well, Are you kidding you know, me? See, because I feel the most notable thing on this ultrasound is that you can see Jesus. What see, it's what we don't see. How oh. old, and there is no baby. There's no the Jesus. The most notable thing again. If you look there. Look, look with me. It is <laughs> Please look with me. I want to show you. Wake up. You just fat. Where your baby would be, and there, there's no baby. That is nothing. What an ultrasound would look like this far along at eight and a half months the baby is almost fully developed 
That is that is what an ultrasound would look oh, like. Oh yeah, prove it, prove right it wrong right, right now. There. Again, you can see the head of the baby. You can see the body of the baby. But in your ultrasound, there's no baby. I call it fake. There is a baby. There is a baby, whether you like it or not. She says that she is nine days away from delivery, which is virtually full term. You, you very okay. clearly see the head, the head here. You can even see the spine there. Look at that. I didn't know that. That's cool. Haley did have dilated loops of bowel. And as she was pushing with the probe, those those loops of bowel were moving around. You know, it would be very depressing if she turned out to have cancer or tumor inside. That would be so bad. But she does she she does not have that. So that's so now it's funny again. There's absolutely no way Haley's giving birth in nine days. So it turns out she was not pregnant with baby Jesus. And what did she say next? This is a picture of what you would see with a woman that is nine days away from delivery. <laughs> <laughs> She's nine days from uh, having a child, and she really. <sighs> All right. I guess I'm not that pregnant, am I? I am pregnant. I've been Sorry, feeling. Doctor Stork, but you can't lie to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Doctor Stork, but you can't lie to Jesus. <gasps> you sinned, Doctor. Baby is inside of me. But he is not going to die. And you can stick that little ultrasound. Oh my god! Your baby's not gonna die because your baby does not exist, and that's about it. Oh my gosh, that was so disrespectful. I couldn't hear what you said. And I am not here to judge you in any way or what you're going through. I'm solely here to tell you the results of the ultrasound. Please, we have to roast her, Mr. Stark, Dr. Stark, sorry. Why are you, are you not doing that? And Haley, that is your ultrasound. And. There's nothing I can say to you other than you you are not pregnant. Like I said, I'm so sorry. Like I said, you are a man of sins, doctor. So she was not pregnant with baby Jesus. And now, after a, couple, a few months, she comes back. You were very forthcoming about the fact uh, that you felt like it helped you greatly when you were there. She's way fatter than before. You can say that Jesus sent you a sign that you need to go on a strict diet, but you took that and you said, I'm pregnant with baby Jesus. That, but other than that, I don't think it helps at all. Haley says she did not give birth to baby Jesus. So there you go. Center and then go to another one and another one and being diagnosed with the same thing. It's a waste of my time and it's not helping me at all. Mm -hmm. They just put me on new medication. I'm feeling bad for this girl because basically she does have a mental problem of some sorts and I mean whether she likes it or not she has to take some kind of uh, medication or go to some kind of rehab. Do you recall saying after treatment that you, you felt like it really helped you a lot? Mm -mm. You remember saying that realizing that you weren't pregnant was a huge burden off of you? Oh, she does not remember that now. All right. Do you remember saying that you felt like it was the best thing you had ever done? No. Of course you don't. Okay. <laughs> that was probably something the producer told me to say. Oh! The producer wasn't that creative kid. But no, I don't remember saying that. To, I was saying that to who? To your therapist. I was saying that to who? Yeah. Hmm? No, I wasn't. I, didn't, I don't remember saying that. What help am I getting? What Her sister looks like a good side of her. <laughs> it's beautiful. That the pills that I take now do nothing but make me tired. And it makes me want to sleep all day. Well, I don't take pills and I want to sleep all day. But being pregnant was a fantasy and you were able to see that after you had been in treatment for a while. Well, nothing happened. Right, so you weren't pregnant. No. She's so out of this world. To see that. She's just not there at all. They also indicated that while you were there that you began to interact with people in a positive way. But it took two weeks for her to start complying with medication they were giving her. When I initially went into creative care, I didn't take their medications for two weeks because I thought I was pregnant. I woke up one night and... I you are not pregnant! He, if she was two weeks into the rehab, rehab or whatever, into her medica medication, it means that if she was on, on, on a show and 
if she took the, took the ultrasound and she was eight and a half months pregnant, that means two weeks from there, she will be nine months pregnant. She will have her baby Jesus in her hands. So why would she still be pregnant by that time? I looked at myself and kind of went completely flat. And I didn't know what to think. It made me realize... Oh, she was getting thinner then. All right. What everyone had been telling me is true. I had a bunch of gas lodged in my Oh stomach, my god, yes. I pregnant because of it. I didn't give birth, but I felt like I had a miscarriage. So I guess she thought she was carrying baby Jesus because maybe she didn't have sex with no boy and basically her belly started to swallow, uh, swollen, swollen, swallow, whatever. She just assumed it was Jesus. Well, wouldn't you assume that you're just fat by that point? I wasn't pregnant with Jesus, but I still felt like I lost a child. I have to keep telling myself that baby Jesus is alive and not dead. It still talks to me and makes me feel depressed. I felt this is beginning to be very sad. She's mentally just incapable of thinking rationally. And by the way, there's still one more face to this girl, which is uh, she thinks that Eminem is her father, but we're not saying that video now. We're putting it uh, maybe next week's video or something. So guys, if you enjoyed Baby Jesus, clap <coughs> meme review and we see each other in the next video. Uh, so guys, thanks again for watching. Give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe, and we see each other in the next one. So guys, stay goody goody and bye.